In this brief video, we would like to demonstrate how simple and easy it is to use our chambers. First, we will demonstrate using the chamber without the frame. Then we will demonstrate using the chamber with the frame. We have filmed each procedure from both the outside and then from the inside of the chamber to give you a better understanding of how our chambers work. We think you will agree our chambers are very easy to use, very spacious and roomy, and very light and bright. First, Anna is checking the compressor to make sure that it is all hooked up correctly. She's checking the hose connected to the chamber. Now she's going to take the inside zipper and the outside zipper and zip them both just past the first two buckles. Then she takes the buckles and snaps them shut. Next, she steps into the chamber, just puts the top over her head. She is then able to reach in and zip the outside zipper and then the inside zipper a little further. This allows her to be able to buckle the remaining buckles. Now she gets all the way into the chamber. First she pulls the outside zipper to the very end so it's totally shut and then she will zip the airtight zipper totally closed from inside. Anna will now step into the chamber and she will snap the buckles from the outside. Then she pulls the outside zipper closed. And now she will pull the inside zipper closed. This will allow the chamber to inflate. Now all she needs to do is lie down and relax and wait for the chamber to inflate. Now that the chamber is inflated, you can see that she has plenty of room to move around. It's very light, bright. She's clearing her ears. All she needs to do now is sit back and relax and wait for the chamber to pressurize. Now it's time to deflate. She turns the dump valve to the open position and then puts her fingers in the exhaust valve so that she can control the amount of pressure as she deflates according to her own comfort. You will hear that the air is decreasing, there's a less hissing sound and knows that the chamber is ready to open. Now she will reach over and unzip the airtight zipper approximately halfway down, enough room for her to get out. Then she reaches in and pulls the outside zipper open. Then she reaches through and snaps the two buckles and simply steps out. As you can see, the chamber has a form. Anna takes the first two buckles and snaps them securely. Then she steps into the chamber. She 
she pulls both zippers closed just a little bit more then she simply snaps the buckles so that all four buckles are secure then she zips the outside zipper and then she zips the inside zipper After she has deflated the chamber, she pulls the inside zipper open. Then she pulls the outside zipper open. She reaches through and simply unsnaps the buckles and steps out of the chamber. Anna steps into the chamber. She zips both zippers a little further. Then she reaches out and snaps the two remaining buckles. Now she closes the outside zipper all the way. and then she pulls the airtight zipper closed. Now she will simply relax and wait for the chamber to inflate. Anna can see the belts through the chamber to make sure that they are secure and fastened. And now she waits while the chamber is pressurized. As you can see, she has plenty of room to relax and sit back. When it comes time for her to deflate the chamber, again, she will open the dump valve, press her fingers in the exhaust, feel the chamber is soft. First, she will unzip the airtight zipper. Then she reaches to the outside zipper and opens that zipper. She unbuckles the buckles and simply steps out. 